Syria's Prime Minister has survived an apparent assassination attempt in the capital Damascus while al-Haliki escaped unharmed after an explosion near his convoy in the city's Al-Meza district. A Hezbollah-controlled Lebanese TV station reported that his convoy was targeted in the Maza district in the southwest of the city in what is believed to be a suicide attack. Security forces have blocked off the blast zone. Reports say at least seven were killed. According to the Syrian Observatory of Human Rights, one of the prime minister's bodyguards was amongst the dead. A second guard and the driver are in a critical condition. This is the latest bombing inside the government-controlled areas of Syria following an attack on April 9th, which left 15 dead. Well, Zane, uh, Syrian officials are calling this a terrorist explosion that targeted the convoy of the Syrian Prime Minister, Wa'el al-Halqi, as you just mentioned. This happened in the al mazza neighborhood that's in southwest Damascus. Now, we've seen some pictures on Syrian state television. This is showing the aftermath of the blast, a chaotic scene. Uh, you see damaged buildings, you see damaged vehicles, uh, uh, and firefighters walking around in this video as well. Uh, people trying to figure out exactly what happened. There are some conflicting reports. Now, the government, through uh, SANA, which is Syrian state news agency, saying this is a terrorist explosion. Uh, saying that there are many casualties. Uh, Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, an opposition group, states that this was a car bomb, and they say at least one person has been killed. They expect that uh, possibly the death toll and the injury toll could rise throughout the day. Well, the nature of the bombing isn't yet clear. It does indeed appear to be a car bomb from still images and video we've seen here. It does also appear to have been a pretty large uh, car bomb, and there are clearly... Uh, several people injured at the scene. There are reports of at least one fatality. We don't know if this was a, a suicide bombing. Uh, the recent bombings in Damascus have tended to be either car bombings or, or bombs uh, placed in strategic locations, but not many suicide bombings. This happened in an area of the city called al Maza, which is uh, regarded as a loyalist area under state control just to the west of Damascus itself. And it shows really the ability of the armed opposition groups to strike at the heart of, of the regime. Uh, there have been several bomb attacks uh, last July, last August, uh, last December. The Interior Ministry was also attacked and the Interior Minister was injured in that particular attack. Now the reports from Damascus say that the Prime Minister has not been injured even though his convoy was apparently targeted and he is said to have escaped uninjured.